isn't all out and there's been a lot of talk over the last few months um, about bringing in back the water charges and it has been mentioned, it has been mentioned. Um, um, TD for Wexford, uh, you know, I'm in a bit of um, a dispute with him at the moment, um, Park Kyo. Um, I'm, I don't know, he hasn't, uh, he was supposed to send me a letter out, he never did. So maybe he will, um, just to say, Paul, if you're watching this, um, maybe he will this week. I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated on that. So I haven't been talking about that because I'm waiting to see, I'm giving them a chance to send me a letter. If not, then you will see something else, try and do something else. Um, but yeah, he made, he's, he's pro-water charges, for example. Um, so obviously you remember the protests when Irish Water they, they decided, had the brilliant idea to bring in Irish Water. I don't know where, who in their white mind said, you know, let's bring in Irish Water. We live on an island where there's a huge amount of water around us, right? Listen to this. In Cavan alone, there's 365 lakes. There's more water in them lakes to nearly fill up whole, the whole of County Cavan if the lakes spilled over. Um, because there's that much water, there's literally a ridiculous sum of water. If you amount to 365 lake, the amount of water that's in it, um, that's a lot. And then you don't even count the rivers in County Cavan. Then you count the streams and you have a fair lot of stuff, a lot of water. Um, and then there's this side tax on it. You know, it's just... And they spent millions and millions and more millions on putting in the water meters. Um, and they're never fucking used. Can anybody, and the, the only reason why they ha couldn't do it, they were going to do it, but everybody in their mother refused to pay it. Um, and everybody in their mother were out in the streets complaining about it, um, which didn't look very good in the Irish government because everybody wasn't going to pay for it. And, the, and if they did bring it in, they had to put everybody in prison for it, um, which wasn't going to look very nice for the Irish government on the world stage, um, which they had to back down. Um, so they were very upset about that, and they're still licking their wounds to this day. And they have to talk about bet you any money because of this COVID. Um, they want to try and bring back the bank, you know, bring back the money, um, for their for their bank accounts, um, for the TDs bank accounts, not for our but the taxpayers but the bank accounts. Don't worry about that. They won't even think about that. Um, but yeah, the what they have talked about bringing back the water charges. You know, it has been mentioned, um, and you see the in the budget. I only realized this a few weeks ago too. That they actually give money to Irish Water. They give a good lot of money to Irish Water. I think it was forty four million or something like that. Um, which is out of our taxpayer money. Um, and you wonder to yourself, why are they giving that much to Irish Water? What are they doing? Are they up planning something? Um, because they are up to something. Anyway, they are, the Irish government are always up to something. Um, we are, it would been, they're never really not up to anything. They're up to <laughs> anything they can do to screw over as many people as they can. That's what they're up to. Um, not to benefit anybody, not at all. Couldn't benefit anybody. Anything they do is not beneficial to anybody. Apart from the bankers and the bond holders, the usual people, the usual, um, the judges, too, you know, they take care of the owners, as they say. As they said, Leo always delivers, um, not for us, the people, um, but, you know, to the bankers and things like that. Which, in fairness, you know, it's all well and dandy for them. Um, in, fa in fairness, we probably do the same if we were not in their position. But you look at, what can you do, as they say. Um, the only thing you could do is stand up and say, no. But yeah, I just say to people, if they do bring in Irish water in the morning, it's, it's an utter joke. Because again, everybody in the model literally protested about it back a few years ago. Um, and they couldn't deal with it. The government couldn't deal with the stress and couldn't deal with everybody up war when it gets them. Um, they even had people in their own government up war when it gets them at the time because there was that much hassle on them. Um, but they are going to, they are going to, I tell you now, they will try. Um... Um, as normal forty tried to bring you know, tried to get his children back at six years back in the classrooms and things like that and that went well for her, and she didn't consult with the union side and that as I keep saying. Um that went extremely well, didn't it, Nora? Um literally without even not even twenty four hours later <laughs> the unions give her a good answer. Um like she didn't even tell I don't know who she was talking to, my stage, right? Who what students is she talking to? Okay, this is just a random thing. But who is she talking like literally she's like Irish water. <laughs> you just don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they might just have a bit of common sense. But they can. Common sense in the Irish Republic for TDs and Senators. Never heard of it. And then you have probably the leprechaun in the park. The man in the high castle in the park. Um, he have to sign this. So maybe he might grow some balls. And might say, no, I utterly refuse to sign this. If it does have a go to him. Um, about Irish water. Um, 
Because again, he can. He can bring to the Supreme Court. He can go three times. He can delay it as much as he could. But again, he won't. He would never do it. Um, because he just... He, whatever the government puts in front of him, straight away, sign, sign, sign. Not, he, he probably didn't even ask what it is. He just signs it. Um, I guess he's a big fat paycheck in the post. And probably a bit extra too for signing it. Um, great country, you know. 